Hey folks, Quillikin here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Rim Dwarf World Fortress. That never gets easier to say, no matter how many times I've said it. We are here in our desert start on uh, extreme difficulty with, with Phoebe Chillax, so we do have some more time between things. Still carving out sort of what I would call our initial base here. And I've gone and planned out a little bit more of our defenses. I think what I want to do <clears throat> is really do a lot of trapped hallways so you know to get into a base big trapped hallway here into routing another one here into another one here that sort of thing now i do fully expect that some people will start bypassing some of these things but it's still going to catch a whole lot of people and then over here what i'll probably end up doing is developing some sort of wall structure around our farm and geothermal um, and leaving an opening over here for some sort of path to come in, which will probably have some amount of traps. But <clears throat> that way, if anyone spawns over here, because it is it is completely blocked off, um, it, just to stop them from spending all their time smashing our walls and stuff and just encourage them to walk through there. We may not, like, fully seal in the base. Um, you know, like, normally we'd have a door here. The, there would be a bit of a question about uh, what happens with packs of wild animals and stuff, and then, yeah, maybe we'd be forced to just hide inside the actual mountain itself. But I think other than that, there's not going to be, like, a hard door blocking the way in. And there's going to be some value stuff inside of the zone that uh, people might go for. So I figure probably we'll set up some guns kind of over here to shoot people as they come through this corner, um, rather than go after here. We'll probably move, well, not necessarily move these. Uh, I just realized that this wall is in a bad place to block the wind turbine if we go and build it here. Hmm. Also, these rocks don't cause problems, do they? Maybe they do, I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay, so I will simply make a little change to the plan uh, to be just a little further down. Like this. I want this one to have the gap, and that to be like that, and that to be remove plan that way, and then door kind of goes there, something like that, <clears throat> and like that, and I guess I forgot to leave an opening, kind of over here. I mean, I may have to redraw a few other bits because this is looking a little silly all of a sudden. <clears throat> but yeah, and we're going to do the double door thing all over the place uh, so that our own people can walk through perfectly fine. Now, we're a long way away from having blocks to be able to do this sort of thing, but that is certainly going to be the idea. So we're carving out our um, our stockpile over here. Apparently we struck some more compacted machinery, which is a spiffy keen. Not a ton, but it's going to do. Uh, a few of the beds have been made. We have one, two unowned ones. So I'm going to go ahead and say... That goes away, and that goes away. And then when Renair gets up, we'll go and wipe that out. Uh, I guess we've got to start the next construction of a bed. Furniture, double bed, <clears throat> marble should be the thing we have the most of. 150, it is marble, yeah. Because we have a lot of raw marble, so that's to be expected. Um, oh, these are all going to need to be doors as well. And we're going to keep going with these metal doors because we do actually have a lot of steel. And that should continue to be the case for a fairly long time. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and do that. And wood will continue to be a little bit sparse. We will get these pine trees chopped at some point, and that will give us some material. But we don't have a really fast turnaround time with the wood, so it's still going to be something that uh, making willy-nilly might be a bit crazy. We might go with more wooden doors. I don't know. <clears throat> the steel ones, I mean, they're more fire resistant and harder to chop down. I, I don't know. I don't think that makes much of a difference in this particular scenario, but they're, they're more dwarfy, so that's cool. I mean, all stone doors would be particularly good, and I guess there's not a lot of traffic in and out of the bedroom. Having stone doors for that might actually have been okay. Because stone doors are really slow to open, but how often do you go in and out of bedrooms? Eh, steel. It's fine. It gives everything that nice clangy sound everywhere. And who doesn't like a nice clangy sound into their bedroom? Lots and lots and lots of potatoes. We've got some alcohol brewing. Let's actually take a look at our alcohol list. We've got a good supply of it going on, which is nice. Hopefully these people have a nice stay. What we could do is put a little bit of storage in here. Um, <clears throat> do, 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 do. So like a stockpile zone, say here. Clear all. Critical priority for... Is it under drugs? Um, we're not regularly making beer. So let's put vodka 
and then with our hospitality rules, shopping area, I guess what we would do is we would make a new um, area called, oh, oops, cancel, called shopping, like that. <clears throat> And then like this and oops, guest. So <clears throat> accommodation can technically be anywhere. Shopping area is going to be here. We will make that the default. There we go. And then in theory, there we go. Some vodka gets there so people can buy vodka from us. And that'll probably be okay. They had a great stay. Look at this, 76. Left us some uranium, which is interesting. And yeah, the next pack of people will be able to buy some vodka from us and keep the money going. Coming around here to do some planting? What are you doing? Oh, no, these are people leaving. Ha <laughs> ha, they're not my people. Uh, bet is being made there. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So now everyone's got individual bedrooms. How exciting. We're still working on things over here. You're doing some wall smoothing, which is also going to be nice. Floor smoothing is going to be coming up relatively soon. And we'll probably smooth floor everywhere, probably including in the stockpile over here. I don't know. There's a lot in out over there. This one's pretty large, so maybe not. But we'll finish the wall smoothing first for power. Um, and actually, it does make things a fair bit nicer as well. I don't think it's quite as important as the floor, but it's pretty high up there. And also for routing power. So I'll do the inside at some point, but for now, we'll just worry about the outside. Just for power routing purposes entirely. Um, and here, you don't really need it. Blowback operation is done. Auto pistols, machine pistols, heavy SMGs. Okay. We're not looking to construct those guns as is, but it is an important step towards working on turrets. So we'll be looking forward to that. Radical just making blocks as quickly as possible here. Luckily, it doesn't have to go far for raw material right now. This little storage area is supposed to be for rock as opposed to blocks. Um, <clears throat> it's just funny that every time, like, I've got it set so he drops it on the floor and he happens to be dropping it there. I don't know. But that's okay. You're making the blocks extraordinarily quickly, which is good because we're going to need a ton of it. And we're probably going to start on the uh, the wall construction here pretty soon. Definitely pretty soon. Maybe a little bit longer. We still have some work to do in here. Construction right now is working on smoothing the walls, which is going to be nice. Radical is work frenzy. 2.5 times faster. That is going to be insane stone carving. Can't complain about that. Lacquer, you just went for a walk. Oh, you're hauling marble blocks. Why are you so slow? I guess we were on a lower speed. I hadn't realized that. Yeah, no no penalties to anything right now. So that's going to be fine. <clears throat> now, one thing I think, I re if I remember correctly, um, the liquor here won't be drunk by our people for some reason. It's not considered something accessible through some, some means. Wasn't that an issue? I don't remember. Uh, we'll probably want to get a hospital up soon. Now, I think this, the plan may have been to make this a hospital because it's closer to the front door and it'll be a little easier to get people here. And I think that should probably continue to be the case. So if we want a hospital soon, what we, what that really means is we want to dig out a new bedroom over here. And I think we're going to get that started right away. At some point we want a prisoner room as well and the, the hospital can sort of swap back and forth. The, the guest room over here can sort of swap back and forth with the prisoner room as well. I don't know if people hang out in the guest room, but if so, they might want a lamp so that they're not getting the in the darkness penalty. I don't know how much time they actually just spend um, just hanging out in this room. Since we do have the hospitality area being the entire home area, I, I don't think it's too much of a problem. All right, dig, dig, dig. I'm gonna go and also say something like, we're gonna assume we're gonna mine out, oops, mine out here and and maybe that's enough i don't know feel like there needs to be an end of the door somewhere but it's not like the traffic like there's going to be people coming in in those areas and discouraging people from walking through the stockpile as a shortcut would actually be good because the stockpile is going to be ugly because it's going to have all kinds of material in here that will not be attractive and keeping people out might keep things a little nicer not that the hallways are going to be particularly spacious which affects beauty but at least it's going to not have a bunch of you know um, animal pelts and things, which are one of the ugliest things to deal with. All right, all these rocks. We'll be giving a, a normal haul command there soon. I'm going to be copying the stockpile settings over here, which we're going to be dumping over here relatively soon. 
that's being dug out as well, which is nice. Got some tattered apparel. We're a little way away from starting to work on that. We do have some animal pellets, but not much. That's actually a good time to maybe consider get some iguanas. More iguanas, yeah. I'm just gonna do a scan of the map to see if there was any any particular notable uh, large animals, like some more dromedaries or something that we can hunt, but no. It'd be interesting if you could send your people out on hunting parties. I don't know if there's a mod to do that, but like we've got the whole world, right, that we could go out. And even if like you just send them out to some square that's more fertile or, or something, it's some sort of hunting party game. The thing is you could probably do something like that kind of manually, just send people somewhere and then, you know, pop in and then shoot anything that's there. But as sort of an automated process, it might be interesting. So people leave for a couple of days and they come back and they may or may not have some corpses. Uh, or they may, have, may be able to butcher them on site. Okay, so you're no longer inspired, but that's fine. You're still making blocks quickly. We still have a ton of them. Uh, and I think I'm going to start walling here. So structure, wall. Uh, we've got a lot of marble, so we will be using that. So I'm going to build this outermost wall first. Let me do a little pause here because I'm going to want to replace some of these bits with doors. Is certainly the idea. And these doors will be marble doors for maximum toughness. Uh, I have a door there, there. So every two is the best way to help us reset traps. Now, I mean, it's a fair amount of work to build all these. It takes a lot more marble blocks to build a door than a wall. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. We might not have the same trap density right there. Cancel you. <clears throat> Build a wall. And I do want to have all the doors in at first, because otherwise you have to tear down the walls and you don't get as much material back. So we're going to start with this. Um, this is not going to do that much for us quite yet, but it is going to be an initial setup, give us more time to respond to things. Uh, at some point we'll actually have guns and we'll set up some sandbags over here. Now, I do have the gun-making job over here, but no one's gotten around to doing it uh, yet. The, the same thing for the um, the helmets and whatnot. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we're not sort of going back and forth between here and block-making. It's not like the block-making has a higher priority, I would think. Maybe it comes up first in... in here somehow? Cut stone blocks over here. Yeah, I don't know. It all looks the same. As far as I know, we have all the material for this. And you certainly have the skill. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind the block cutting. It actually might be more important than the body armor and the guns. Just so that we can start setting up these defenses. Uh, we are going to do a regular sort of haul command on that stuff over there to get it out of the way. And same thing here. It doesn't have to be a high priority haul. This one may be more, but we'll leave it be for now. And here we go. So we're going to get lots of construction practice. Uh, we do have, is it minor here? Yeah, minor here. The only construction stuff he does is actual construction of walls, but he's doing that now, which is, you know, it is good. He's the one with the most passionate. It actually would be nice to get him as much skill as possible so we can get a super high quality furniture as we go forward. So we're going to do that. We're probably not going to have to worry about like flooring bits, which is kind of interesting. I don't know what this wall structure is going to be like. We might, we might trim this back as kind of being less important as we go forward we'll see that's being moved out of the way our storage is actually starting to fill up quite a bit here we will probably expand the stone storage in fact what i'm going to do um is i'm going to copy the settings from this guy and put down uh, another dumping stockpile say like this oh we actually made two separate ones paste and paste that's odd i don't know if we had this um these settings customized but we may as well just check so there we go so we're gonna have some more um more space for things ho, 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 ho. what's the sorry there it is regular haul things boom what's this right click command for here haul everything what you oh just set everything on the map to be marked as hauled that's interesting probably not what we want but it's actually interesting to find out that there's a command for that um I'll actually do a, a high priority haul. Buh. Is it not? Oh, that's right. It's O. There we go. 
just to clear the room. And we will go and say a marble double bed over here and a steel door right there. Uh, oh, right, I don't have to build the bed. Uh, cancel. I have to move the bed over to here. Then we'll start working on the hospital over here. How's the temperature indoors? It is quite chilly. So what we're gonna do, now I think it's relatively temperature stable. So I'm actually thinking these four rooms might actually be treatable via a single heater in here. That's the hope. Power, power, power. Something like that and temperature, vent, vent, vent. It might not be the case. We might have to set up a second one but we're gonna start with this. And then right now they're gonna complain, interrupted sleep, and they're not actually having a dedicated individual bedroom right now because it's open, but they'll they'll deal with it. And yeah, we'll probably have to do something similar here. For some reason, I don't like to have the vent right next to the heater. I don't know why. I don't think it matters with the heating model in, um, in RimWorld because I think it really like heats by room, but I don't know. I just like that. I mean, it does have the extra gap, like the little space over here. I don't know if that actually it might not be possible to put it there, or I might just imagine that it's not. So anyway, I got in that habit a million years ago, and it hasn't changed since. All right, we're moving this stuff, which is which is good. It's something that has to be done, uh, no matter what. Um, we will end up right over here. Actually, we will do that now. Um, we're gonna have a special little dumping area. Uh, yeah, here and here. And clear all. This is going to be a critical priority dumping stockpile for stone chunks. Because if we have stone here, I don't think they will stand here and use this edge as cover. I think is one of the things we can do. So that's part of our defensive structure. You are... Oh, putting down power cables. That was just such a weird animation as you're ripping down here. I mean, Miner has really good construction skills, so presumably he's that much faster, but it was very odd to see. Power can't reach into here. That makes sense, although we can probably do that, and I'm willing to bet that will reach. And this is set to 21. I'll probably leave it there. Usually I bring it down, but it does have to bring the heat all the way over here, so we might need a slightly higher heat just to encourage it to reach this far, because we're just looking to avoid the um, slept in the cold penalty, which is very annoying makes people very unhappy. So if we can do that, that would be great. Oh, little kitty sleeping over there. Oh, we should put some some kitty sleep spots. You know what the kitty wants to sleep? He wants to sleep right next to the furnace and be nice and warm. Uh, I guess we could go into furniture for that. Uh, animal sleeping box. I'm gonna make this out of wood. Boom, right there. Oh, it's cold enough outside. Minus 11, is it really? All right, let's, um, just in case we can get a little bit more. We're gonna, uh, that's probably not enough to worry about. Okay, I was gonna be like, oh, we'll force people awake, we'll put a high priority thing on this, uh, but no. So we don't have enough to really um, grab right now. 11th of September, we can get a growing period on here, right? Yeah, 6th of September is in theory our limit. 3060 split, 30 of 60, I think it is. Okay, so we're gonna be growing crops about half the year. Right now, we've got tons of food in the bank and some alcohol and everything, so we should be okay. Who's idle? Time Havoc, really? No mining for you to do, I suppose. And you can't haul. And you're not cooking anything right now because we hit some of these limiters. Keep some extra kebabs around. So I think you can make that. There you go, you're gonna make some kebabs for us. But uh, we'll see what we can do long run to keep you a little busier. All right, haul things. So this stockpile here, we are going to copy these settings and that actually did get time settings. So we're gonna get a new stockpile zone over here. I don't think I'm gonna worry about removing the old one. It's covered. Um, it's got a little uh, communications beacon. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave it there. We'll just have another one that's a little closer and just have more space in general. Uh, we might want to start building some doors over there at some point, but we don't need to. We've got a little bit more idleness, but yeah, it is really just because we're done mining. So why don't we mine up? Oh, that's a lot of metal over there. That's gold. Uh, well, I'll put in the connect the, the ores here for the um, the components, and we will do some more mining out here too. 
I suppose I may as well go ahead and mark these. They mine by proximity, so if we mine to expand our base, they will be working on that first. But for now, this is fine. Keep our miners a little bit busy. I mean, we have we have more than, you know, some some people who are miners could do other things. I don't think we we have mining only at a 3. So I don't think that's really overriding anything else that could be going around. I suppose for Kung here, he can craft. I think we've only got the one crafting table though. I mean, we also have this. He might not have the skill for it. Oh, it's smithing. That's why those guns don't get made. Well, well, well. I want Rodical to do this. I'll tell you what, Rodical, you start doing this. And then Verkung. I mean, you do have the passion for it. But right now, I will bring it down to a four for mining. Reset you. There you go. So you're going to craft chunks while Rodical starts working on body armor and stuff. I forgot it was smithing. But I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Machining? I mean, there's an actual smithing table as well for making swords and whatnot. Yeah, it's going to be fine. All right, so we've got plenty of this, plenty of food, maybe some more booze being made. we got rice, we got potatoes. Oh, yeah, you're full of potatoes. Your just progress hasn't started yet. Something's being stored here. It's not higher priority than the outside one, which is fine. Uh, we will need uh, the comms beacons here before the trading happens. So, like that... And, oh yeah, we got like tons, like, tons of overlap here, which is fine. Uh, we're going to need power over here. Which means really what we want to do is smooth some walls like that to help with the power routing. Although we could also just run cable into this room. Since again, beauty in this room is not quite as important. Actually, getting doors on here might be good just to like stop the ugliness from being spotted. Okay, yeah, I've convinced myself that getting the doors here are is going to be more helpful and important than initially considered, simply because it is but ugly. Now, what is the tattered apparel? Can we make something real quick? Uh, oh, gear over here. Uh, 32%. Yeah, it's the shoulder pads. Um, right, so your dead man's clothes never gets applied to shoulder pads, so they went and equipped that. Because it was an upgrade. So I think it gives you a little bit of armor. <sighs> yeah, you know what? Don't don't wear that. Go this way. Done. I don't know if you're going to go and take that off. So then we won't have to worry as much until we start getting unhappy nudity. Now, it is also real cold outside. Um, is it snowing? No, it's rainy thunderstorm. Probably freezing rain here, because it's negative temperature. Freezing rain really depends on the, the sort of temperature of the ground. Like, if the ground itself, if the ground surfaces are below zero, then yeah, then you get your freezing rain, because things freeze instantly as it touches the ground. Major break risk. You're very cold. Okay, let's get um, production and electric tailoring. This is the research bench, so we don't want to build anything over there. Um, I'll build it here. And you know what? That, I think, makes a nice little spot for crafting over there. Um, which means here, smoke leaf joints, cigarellos. Oh, you can salvage fabric here. I think we can also sal salvage fabric from the, um, uh, from the tailoring bench. And it, it might be faster, so I'll just do it there. So we'll set these jobs up. Not that we have it yet, but that's going to be okay in terms of furniture. Yeah, we can't make metal or stone ones. Can we make stone tool or stools? We can. They're not as comfy, I'm sure. You know what? We're gonna make wooden chairs uh, in there for comfort purposes. Boom, boom. Yeah, we need to wait for these walls to get smoothed. Uh, you? Oh, you don't smooth. Oh, you do. I can establish or force you to do this. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do want you to do some research as well. Click. That might reach that. It might not. I mean, I suppose it's not critical. We don't have to freak out about not having our power here, now that I think about it. Um, are you the night owl? I think you're the night owl. 
Okay, I'll let you finish that job because I did go through all the trouble of, of queuing things up. But yeah, long term, I may not be as worried. Uh, there we go. More plants out here dying from the cold, but that's okay. The pine trees, now do they still grow? No. I mean, which I guess is kind of fine. I mean, just because they're evergreens doesn't mean they necessarily grow very quickly in the winter. They just don't lose their needles, right? Um, which allows them to continue to get some some photosynthesis to happen. Uh, we need to do a high priority haul of that stuff. Although I guess right now it's just frozen. It's still gonna decay because it's outside, but at least it's frozen. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, does, does the sap go underground in, in pine trees or, you know, any, any evergreen trees in the same way that it does for deciduous, like leafy trees? Because that's, I mean, it's a whole process. Well, I mean, typically we think of the whole sap thing more with maple trees, but just because they happen to have like sweet sap. But I'm pretty sure that uh, most of those leafy trees, their sap goes underground during the winter as just a self-preservation thing. So yeah, I actually know very little about the behavior of evergreen trees in the winter. I'm kind of curious. Well, that's a good time to put in a cut. Maybe I'll go and look it up on Wikipedia. Probably not. I'll just wait to see what kind of answers uh, YouTube comments come up with because they're bound to be interesting. Maybe not right, but that doesn't mean they won't be interesting. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.